Hello, my dear friends. We're going to talk about this lighthouse, Cabo Frio Lighthouse, which is seen from a distance of 49 nautical miles. When you think about Rio de Janeiro, you probably think about the beach, Copacabana Beach, thousands of people on the beach. But uh, two hours from Rio, there is the city of Cabo Frio, and not far from there, we see this place called Ayal do Cabo. That's where this lighthouse, which was built in 1861, stands at 155 meters above sea level. So here you see some images of this lighthouse, and it's seen from a distance of 49 nautical miles away. Impossible on a globe Earth, because there should be over 2,200 feet of curvature. As you see there, the horizon rises to high level. You can see how the ocean can be seen from this height as rising up to the high level. I'm going to take a closer look at this lighthouse, which was built in 1861. And we're going to calculate the curvature. And as you see here, the, this is by the Brazilian Navy. You can go to the official website of the Brazilian Navy and you're going to see that it states that this lighthouse is seen from 49 nautical miles away, which equals to almost 91 kilometers or 56 miles. This lighthouse can be seen from a distance of 56 miles. As you see the horizon, you can see the flat horizon rising up to high level. As high, and th remember, this lighthouse stands in a, uh, at 155 meters above sea level. So let's look at this animation, look at some details about Farol do Cabo Frio. Stands at 155 meters above sea level or 508 feet, and it's seen from 49 nautical miles. This is calculating curvature in kilometers. We're going to watch the animation and see there are two points. The first arrow on the left, you see the lighthouse. The second one, a boat, and the blue part represents the ocean. And the distance in kilometers above and uh, nautical miles and miles and kilometers. So there stands the lighthouse at 155 meters above sea level, or 508 feet above sea level. Now let's look at the boat at a distance of 49 nautical miles or 90 kilometers and 700 meters away. And we have two lines there. The first line on top represents how this can be measured from a flat earth point of view. That's where the boat should stand on the flat earth. And that's the position. And below you will see the globe. Uh, the boat should be right there, standing uh, behind a bulge of water, a huge bulge of water. We're going to look. There's a difference of 640 meters. That's the difference between the point where the boat should be on the globe and where it is on the flat earth, where it can see the lighthouse. Now, if you look from the boat, you will see now there should be a giant bulge of water between the boats and the lighthouse. But here you see from a flat earth how it's possible earth being flat and waters being flat, how from that distance one can see the lighthouse at 49 nautical miles away. I do want to thank uh, the Brazilian architect Danilo Ricardo. He's behind some huge projects like this stadium. I have seen the video of the stadium already built. And he's a flat earther. He's behind some of our calculations and angles and math. 100% flat earther. Thank you, Danilo. 
So there should be this giant bulge of water between the boat and the lighthouse on the globe model. There is 2,083 feet or 635 meters of curvature missing. Those two lines represent the line on the globe and the line on the flat earth. Now let's say that the boat is sailing back towards the, sea, the lighthouse. See how much they would, would the boat would have to climb a bulge, a mountain of water, before it can actually see any lights coming from the lighthouse. That's the boat sailing back to the uh, island, Arreal do Cabo, and nowhere they can see the light of the lighthouse because of the huge mountain bulge of water in front of them. That's only when they could actually see any light after climbing that huge mountain of water. Here we see another animation. See the boats on the right and the lighthouse, Cabo Lighthouse, and the distance, how the light spread from the lighthouse and how it can be seen from 49 nautical miles away. And here we see the same example on a ball earth with this huge bulge of water separating the boats and the lighthouse. There's no way, as we saw in the animation before, that the light can reach a boat standing at 49 nautical miles away with that huge bowl of bulge of water. And the light would spread out to space, go straight out to space, and never reaching the boat. There is 635 meters or 2,083 feet of curvature missing, uh, according to the globe Earth. So this is, that's why we say Earth is not a globe, because this lighthouse can be seen at a distance of 49 nautical miles away. Uh, water always finds its level, and so there's no way that Earth can be a globe if you can see a lighthouse from a distance 49 nautical miles away. So guys, the Earth is flat, and that's all for today. See you next time. Be safe, take care, bye-bye.